What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves probably one of the coolest teams that I've shown off since the Crown Tundra has released. We got ourselves a Weather War Drought Groudon and Drizzle Kyogre with Life Orb Altaria on it. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. But this team looks amazing. And once again, it was sent in by my boy Andrew. Andrew, thank you so much for coming up clutch again, making me this team and having me show it off on my YouTube channel. But rocking out in our front spot, we got ourselves Life Orb Altaria. And this is a Pokemon that I really want to show off since uh, the Crown Tundra has released. This thing is Flying and Dragon. Such a cool looking Pokemon. It's like a bird on a cloud it just looks amazing i always loved it ever since gen 3 was released with natural carrier ability life warp item dragon dance to set up get that plus one speed and plus one attack dragon claw eq and dual wing beat to the right of it we got our drought pokemon we got ourselves ground on with that heat rock over here fire punch precipice is that is that how you pronounce it precipice blades i believe that's how you pronounce it protect and bulk up we have my face cam we got the one and only Kyogre, one of my favorite legendaries with that drizzle and damp rock like these pokemon looks so cool in this team like i don't know why it's just like the weather war team right here it looks amazing this thing has calm my origin pulse for a stab and that's like his main move ice beam and thunder we also got leafeon right next to it who pairs well with the ground on and that drought considering it has chlorophyll it will double its speed in the in the heat with the muscle band sword stance leaf blade solar blade and natural gift and then Right below Kyogre, we got ourselves Karakosa, who's going to work well with the rain with that Swift Swim, Assault Fest, Dig, Waterfall, Rock Slide, and Crunch. And then in the final spot, we got ourselves our support Pokemon of Togethic right here, who will pair well with Altaria. So everybody on this team kind of has somebody to pair well with. Altaria pairs with Togethic well, Leafeon pairs with Groudon well, Kyogre pairs with Karakosa well, and then everything rolls out. But Togethic over here has that Evo Light, Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, Ancient Power, and Protect. We can just go into a Follow Me, set up Dragon Dance, and then get rolling with our, that Altaria. But guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's try to get some wins with this Groudon and Kyra Weather Wars team. First battle coming at you guys, and look at this dude's team. Insane. He's got Polkia, Dialga, Garatina. He's got the three Sinnoh legendaries. He's got Groudon, Calyrex, and then he has that Ultra Beast. This is Jellyfish one. I don't even know its name, but my plan is for this video is to show off all three pairings in all three videos. So one video, I want to show off the Heat and the uh, Leafeon combo, and then the Rain with the Kyogre, and then the Altaria going off with Dragon Dance and all that. But who should I lead and get rolling with here? I feel like the, the, uh, the water can just uh, outpower a lot of this right now. I feel like it can. We can just get rolling and get dominating here. Let's get after. Let's go Kyogre and Karakosa right off the rip. Let's go. Let's just do that right off the rip. Bring Altaria and Togetic in the back. I feel like that's fine. I feel like we're thriving with that. But one thing that we actually could have done with this team, since it's like in casual battles, we could have rolled out with the uh, with the Togekiss because Togekiss is allowed. So maybe we should have done that. That could have been uh, maybe a little bit better. But I'm not too sure. I didn't build this team. Probably the, uh, the person who did build this team probably has a big old reasoning for going Togetic instead of Togekiss, but we're just going to keep rolling here and try to show off this wonderful team. Like, once I saw this team, once I saw a picture of this team, I was like, are you kidding me? I saw both weather Pokemon. I saw the Groudon with the Heat Rock and then the, uh, the Kyogre with the Damp Rock. I was like, this is going to be an insane team. Like, I cannot wait to show it off. But he leads Jellyfish, dude, and Calyrex over here. Jellyfish, uh, that looks like King Jellyfish from Spongebob. <laughs> We're gonna get Drizzle. So now our Swift Point mobility is popping. We're gonna get rolling here. I think we save our Dynamax. I think we do. We're, are gonna drop a nice big old Origin Pulse. What typing? What is that thing? Like, what typing is that thing? I, I don't think that's his name. I think it's Smash. It's Rock and Poison. Looks phenomenal. Looks phenomenal. But we're gonna be able to drop that and go for an Origin Pulse. And then I think we just double up into. I think we double up into him. Into Calyrex. I think that's the play. He might Dynamax here. We have Swift Swim, so we're rolling. Waterfall's gonna come up big. Gonna be big damage for Karakosta, especially in the rain. He's not gonna Dynamax, and we're coming in hot. We're coming in hot. Big old damage. Can Kyogre outspeed? I don't think it will. Giga Drain is popping here. Yo, that might actually take us out. It does take us out. It takes us out one shot. And he's gonna get mean HP back. What you mean? What you mean? He gets a ton of HP back. Hopefully, Kyogre can maybe pick up the double kill. I don't know if he's gonna outspeed that thing. Grim Nay's popping. That's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. This is definitely kind of scary. Acid spray coming out here. Uh, we should be able to, That's easy eats for my Kyogre. Easy eats all day. Don't you dare poison us. It's a crit. Get out of my face. And he's going to get the drop. That's what he was looking for. The special defense drop here. But Kyogre's going to come out here with an origin pulse. Should be able to take out Jellyfish, dude. And hopefully get Calyrex out of here as well. Let's see. Double kill. Oh, my lord. Yo, Kyogre. Chill on them. Chill on them. Kyogre coming up big. I'll take that trade all day. Take out Caracosta. 
for a double kill right off the rip. Oh, baby, yo, Origin Pulse, too strong. Um, what's the play here? I said we just bring out Togetic and we roll from here. I said we just bring out Togetic and we roll from here. He's probably gonna throw out a uh, double edge. If he throws out ground on, oh, he does. That buttery biscuit. He's gonna set the heat, right? And Garatina's gonna come out here as well. Okay. Okay. Actually, there's no drought. No drought coming in? Or does that come out later? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, he definitely has drought on him. He's gonna drop the drought. Do I swap out here? And go for a follow me just so he doesn't thrive? Because that kind of takes out my Kyogre here. I could boost our uh, attack again. Good drop an Ice Beam. Ice Beam does work on all of them. Origin Pulse. Hmm. I see if we can do this. We Dynamax you, and we, we change the weather on our own. And then we just go for a follow me here. I think that's the play. Change the weather on our own. And then we roll out. Instead of swapping out and then swapping back in, I said we just change the weather on our own. With a nice big old Dynamax Kyogre, then we'll have uh, Altaria in the back end. And Altaria should be faster than Garatina. Actually, I'm not too sure. I, I, I shouldn't say that. I'm not too sure. Garatina could be really fast. Program. But Altaria, I know, has decent speed. Kyogre gets the big old Dynamax here. We thriving. We getting after it. Let's get it, Kyogre. Follow me's popping. Hopefully, they're going for like a Dragon move or something. Come on, Garatina. Throw a Dragon move at me. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Oh, we do outspeed both these guys, which is absolutely wonderful. Kyogre should be able to do some work on this ground on. Maybe take it out. Oh, we do not take it out. The heat makes it survive like an inch. Like an inch. But I'm totally fine with that. that now that we know Kyogre outspeeds, we should be thriving here. Shadow Force coming out here. Garatina vanishes. And he's gone. He's gone. Tell him to get out of here. Ground on has to go here. We'll just dazzle and gleam next turn. Eruption comes out. Oh, he's erupting. And it's doing poo-poo damage because he's down to one, like, one HP. But, yo, this is pretty much a wrap, dude. This is pretty much a wrap, yo. Weather Wars Groudon taking first dub. Um, I think I have to go over onto this slot. And then I guess I'll just, uh, I guess I'll just dazzle and gleam. Because we can't hit Garatina because I know Kyogre's going to go first. So instead of wasting a shot over on uh, Garatina, we're just going to drop this Groudon here. And hopefully the what's it called is faster. The Garatina is faster, so I mean we're going. What do we go for? We know we went for Dazzle Gleam, so hopefully Garatina is faster, so we can do a little bit of damage. Yep, Shadow Force pops out here. Kyogre says, "Yo, that's tasty snack there." Dazzle Gleams get popping. We're gonna be able to do a little bit of damage here, but next turn we'll just be able to drop a big old Ice Hailstorm, Max Hailstorm, finish this one off. And Kyogre coming up clutch, dude. Origin Pulse for the double kill. Let Karakosa go down. That's totally fine by me. And then we just rolled out and dominated Dynamax at a good time. And uh, won us this battle, which is awesome. So perfect. Like I said in the beginning of this video, what I want to show off is all three of the teams. So Kyogre team out the way. Hopefully in the next battle, we can show off Altaria or Heat Groudon with the Leafeon combo. So that's going to be fire. Like, dude, these, this, this team just has so much options, and I absolutely love it. I just love the, uh, the Kyogre and Groudon combo. Now I need to get my hands on a Rayquaza team. Hopping into battle number two right here. This guy has Tapu Fini, Landers, Amoongus, um, Cresselia. Ooh, a little bit of Cresselia action, Salamence, and Heatran. I kind of want to try to get Altaria popping off here. Try to set up a Dragon Dance with the Togetic here. And then, I think we just bring the Groudon and the, the what's it called in the back. The Groudon and the Leafeon in the back. I feel like that can work out just as well here. But the only problem I would have with Altaria is that Tapu Fini right there coming in here, setting that uh, Misty Surge. That's a little scary. I don't really like it too much, but we're going to try to get after it. We're going to try to get after it. Togetic, uh, do I have anybody to change up the the terrain? I have nothing to change up the terrain, which uh, absolutely stinks. But we're going to be thriving here. We're chilling. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Hopefully he doesn't bring Tapu Fini, but that's a bold statement. Like, everybody brings Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini is an absolute beast. We do have Natural Cure, which is nice for our, uh, for our Altaria in case we do get a status condition. But he does have Intimidate as well, which is so tough. That is so tough. And he might lead the landers. If he leads the landers, we're, we're going to be struggling here in battle number two. Let's see what's happening. He's going to go. I don't even know who that is. Let's see. Oh, landers and Cresselia. Man. He's going to be able to get this off. That's tough news. And this thing's rock. This thing is rock. Intimidate is going to pounce on us hard. The only thing that stinks, we're physical attacking. I might not even want to Dynamax that thing now. But that shiny looks phenomenal. That shiny looks phenomenal. I got to give it to it. Um... We are minus one. These are all physical attack moves. Mm. Do I still want to go for Dragon Dances? No, because he's going to Rock Slide and stuff. I might swap my Altaria out here. Try to get this Heat on. Get Groudon up in here. Yeah, let's swap Altaria here. Mm. 
And then, uh, Crystal, what's Crystal? I set a trick room. I set a trick room up here. I think we need to save our Altaria for the back end. First battle. That Intimidate drops a little tough on us. Uh, I think I just Dazzle Gleam. No, you know what? I'm gonna just follow me. No, 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 no. We got Dazzle Gleam because he's definitely going for the Rock Slide. Get that double damage here. There's no way he's Dynamaxing. Altaria gets a swap. We get down here. Get my boy Groudon up here. Set up that heat. We got ground moves coming out. Coming at you guys. Both these guys are levitated, I believe. Well, he's flying and Cresselia has a levitate as an ability. So, you don't want to go for any ground moves here. Got to make sure that doesn't happen. Rock Slide is going to come out here. Good thing I didn't go for that. Follow me. Kind of saw that coming. Groudon's going to be able to eat easily. And we flinch. Okay, that's fine. Trick Room pops. Trick Room is popping. He's popping with Trick Room. All right. Um, hmm. Dropping fire punches now. <laughs> Just dropping fire punches. Oh, let's try to get this landers out the way. I feel like that poses such a bigger threat. And then, uh, I think we follow me here. I think we just follow me. Have Toga Tick go down. I'm fine with it. I think we gotta do that now and try to get rid of this landers because landers is an absolute monster. He's a monster. He's too good. I think he's really, really strong, especially with that intimidate ability. He just poses that extra threat with that ability. Like, it's so good. I think there's not a bad intimidate Pokemon, you know? Like, I feel like all Intimidate Pokemon are strong. They, they, it's just such a good ability. You can pop out minus one on a physical attacker and roll out really, really strong afterwards. Maybe two physical attackers if you're lucky. But he's going to withdraw the Cresselia, which I'm totally fine with. We're dropping the Fire Punch over on the Lander slot. He's going to bring out a Moongus. Oh, baby. Man, dude, that's kind of tough. If, I mean, he can start Rage Powdering. I want to get rid of this Moongus. With a Fire Punch, I, th I feel like we can. Fire Punch popping over here. How much damage are we doing? Get the burn. Get the burn. No burn on him. Oxide popping again. That's totally fine. Um, I said we just saw follow me again. I said we just follow me again. Start wasting out these turns right here. Start trying to do damage over on that thing. I think that's the play. Just follow me over here. Keep rolling. Amoogus is going to protect. Oh my lord, yo. You smart little cookie. You smart little cookie. Follow me. He's coming out here. He's going to be able to take out Togetic here. But the best part about this is we are wasting a lot of these turns right here. We are wasting a lot of these turns. Wasting a lot of these turns right here. Rock Slide coming out. Ground on the boys. That's fine. Can you eat up another one? I would love you forever. Nope. <laughs> Togetic goes down. I do not love Togetic anymore. Not forever now. <laughs> it went down. Um, we go Altaria. Is Altaria the player? Hmm. That thing is going to outspeed us. I need something maybe with Protect here. Can I? I could go for Swords Dance. Might just Dynamax here. I gotta see how many turns is left. Altaria pops out here. As much as I want uh, Etheon out here. Altaria's gonna get out here. Have some fun with it. Hmm. This is a tough battle. This is a real tough battle. How many turns is left in that trick room? Let's see. They got two turns left in the trick room, so I cannot just protect. Um, so we get after this thing. Should I try to set up a Dragon Dance? I think I just dual wing beat. I could drop attack. No, no, no. Because he might just spore up on me. He cannot protect this spawn. I'm going to get after this thing. He's going to withdraw the landers again. That's totally fine. So he's going to save that intimate drop. Get out Heatran. Heatran is going to thrive here. And Spore comes out. You biscuit. Spore me like that. Groudon's slumped. He's slumped. Go it, Altaria. Do some work on this thing. Do some work. The wing be coming out. Oh, this thing has the code barrier. But at least for one shot. That's for one shot. Second shot's gonna come out here and do a little bit more damage. Yoink. This thing's so bulky. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous how bulky this thing is. Another dual wing beat will take it out. I kinda wanna Dynamax now and protect my Altaria. I think that's the play. I think that's the play to protect Altaria here. He might swap back, but I gotta protect so we do not go to sleep. And then I can uh get that max airstream rolling and get get after it. Because he might I think he might just Dynamax here. I mean not Dynamax, he might swap the Heatran back out. But we gotta go for protect. Here comes the swap. That's totally fine. We didn't even have to protect, man. Cresselia gets back out. Okay. Man, yo, we should have did some work. We should have did some work on that side. We should have did some work. But we are Garden, and he is Dynamax and Heatran, which is actually really, really nice. It's really, really nice. Because he's gotta be going after my what's called slot. He's gotta be going after my Altaria with a, with a flare move or something along those lines. Get it. Get it. What you want, fool? What you want? We Dynamax him. He didn't he still has Atlantis. This is a good battle. This is a really good battle. Like I was trying to focus down and show off maybe either Altaria or the ground on team, but we're kind of showing them off both, but like a mixture of both right here. A really good battle right here. We're Dynamaxing here. We're swapping really well. Altaria popping off here. 
What's good? Altaria, shiny, looking amazing. Like, you cannot tell me Altaria is not a cool looking Pokemon here. Guard popping. You get that block. Trying to waste out these turns for that sleep. Flare is coming out here. Oh, of course, on my Groudon slot. Like, this is what I hate. This is what I hate. How a Groudon can take that much damage from a fire move. It is just ridiculous. Like, that is just ridiculous, and you guys know it. Uh, we're going to go for these, these blades here. Got to at least do some damage over on that. And then, uh, hmm. We go for the Wormwind. Get the physical attack drop. Yeah. I don't think we really need the speed here. We're going to get that physical attack drop. Cresselia is just psychic, which is crazy. They didn't give it the uh, fairy typing yet, which I think is crazy. Flop, doing some damage over on that thing. Getting that attack drop. And then Trickum's going to get back out here, which kind of tough. Which kind of tough. Let's get it. Get that attack drop. And then Groudon, wake up, man. Like, hey, yo. There you go. Wake up. Get Precipice Blades going on here. Levitate, I knew of that, but I want to get this damage off on this Heatran. But of course, it's eating up Berry. It's crunching down on the Berry. Gonna be able to eat up some shots here. Man, dude, I would have did some mean damage on that. The Shuka Berry, definitely clutching up here. And then the Flare's gonna come out here overall on Groudon and finish him off. Oh, right, that's totally fine. I think we're gonna see a Trick Room again. I think we are gonna see a Trick Room. And he still has Landers and two other Pokemon. This is a crazy battle. Trick Room is popping. It is popping, once again. Okay. Hmm. My plan did not work out in this battle. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go down this battle. Take the L here and try to show off this team again in the third one. A tough one. This one was a tough one. This guy's playing super super well with this team. This seems awesome as well with Cresselia, the trick room. I do not want a sword dance. Cannot natural gift right here. Hmm. Uh I'll go for a solar blade. <laughs> this two turn attack usually gathers like can I use this in one turn? I should be able to use this in one turn with us uh, heat, right? I think that's a thing. I mean, Shuka Berry's not here anymore. We could just go for this. Uh, yeah, I want to go for the special defense boost. I really do. Ally switch coming in here. Oh, you biscuit! You biscuit! You outplaying me! You were just doing me dirty all day, all day doing me dirty, my dude. We we're getting absolutely smacked up here in battle number two. Absolutely smacked up here. The play, that ally switch was phenomenal. That was a phenomenal ally switch. Levitate coming out of here. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. <laughs> How you doing me dirty like that? How you doing me dirty like that? He's just running all over me. Storming on top of me. But yo, battle number two, we getting smoked here. So we're going to be going one and one so far. And we're going to have to hop into our third and final battle. And try to get ourselves that winning record. I'm running this battle. I'm running this. Altaria, save yourself. Save your, save your strength. I, th I feel like that guy just played super, super well. He just played super, super well. Controlling the battle and picking up that victory. Third and final battle, looking for that winning record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. We looking for it. This guy has Landorus and Tapu Finnegan, which kind of counters my Altaria, but I want to show it off so bad, so I'm going to go into it regardless. So let's roll in Altaria. Togetic, try to get that showing off. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't want to play this one. Uh, then bring Groudon? I, no, I don't know if we want Groudon here. Do we want Groudon and Leafgun, or do we want Kyogre and Caracosta? Mm, I kind of want Kyogre and Caracosta. That looks so much better. And a little bit stronger, but no. You know what? I'm going to go Groudon and, uh, Groudon and Leafgun here. Just because, uh, he has a Steel Pokemon with the, with the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the Roudon. I know it's not super effective, but then the Heat will actually take away damage from that Tapu Finny if he does actually decide to bring it, because that thing is Water Pokemon as well. But we're going to get rolling here. Try to get that winning right I want it so bad. I want to dominate this battle. I want to have a good battle here. Pick up a nice W for you guys. But let's see. Let's see who he leads. Do not lead Landers again. Landers just gets in my nerves. Okay, he goes in DD and uh, Galarian's after. So that's a. I'm with it. I like that a lot. So I'm going to go. I'm going to try to get that. Uh, that what's it called rolling? That Dragon Dance. Get that plus one. So the Intimidate really won't affect me too, too much here. So let's get after it. Let's go for that follow me into the. Uh... Oh, he's going to Psychic Seed pop me. This thing expanding forcing it could it could which is actually really really scary i'm still gonna go for it. i'm still gonna go for that dragon dance try to get that rolling and then just drop this follow me and get rolling with that one what you want fool what you want the only thing that is scary is going to be expanding force like indeed he hasn't been in the game for a good bit so i can see it happen is this female i think it's female indeed because the ears are down so i don't think it learns expanding force i think that's how it goes he's gonna dynamax the bird I'm totally fine. You can Dynamax the bird, roll out, do whatever you want with it. But we're going to Dragon Dance and then Dynamax and get after that. Because the Max Airstream should be able to just absolutely do mean work on that. We'll get another plus one speed boost for the squad. 
And I wonder where he's going for. If he's going for a knuckle trying to boost his attack or a uh, speed boost. But we're going to get a speed boost just as well with Altari here. And what are you going for? We're going to see a double little follow me action here. Which is totally fine. Which I'm totally fine with. Again, Amber. Follow me coming out here again. Uh, hey. Let's have that Psyche Surge. So that leads me to think he's not bringing the Tapu Fini. Unless he just brought it as like a back end Pokemon. But the Airstream is coming out here. That's totally fine. Toby thinks HGO. That's a tasty snack. The real question is... Do I Dragon Ants again? <laughs> That's the real question. Do I Dragon Ants again with this Altaria? And get it stacked up? Like, there we go. We're plus one on the attack board. And now we're plus one on the speed board. And I'm thinking I'd do it again. I'm thinking I'd do it again. I'm going to do it again. You give me no reason not to double up here. So even if an Intimidate comes out here, we're still plus two speed, plus one attack. So we're going to do this again. <laughs> we're going to do this all day. He's going to follow me. I'm going to follow me. You can take out my token stick, but we're going to be plus two and on that board. All day. All dang day, baby. All right, let's get it. Going for the Airstream. I'm cool with it again. I'm totally cool with it. That's fine by me. You can take the crit. That's cool. I'm thriving with it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this battle. Bring out Groudon now? Yeah, let's bring out Groudon. Get him rolling. And then we'll get after this, uh, these Pokemon. Dragon Ants again. Yo, this gotta prevail. Yo, we stacking up. We stacking up here. <laughs> Feed Raisin. Attack Raisin. Get out my boy Groudon. I think we protect this turn. And we try to take out Ndidi in one shot. Get that. We could get that attack drop on him. Which would be huge. He's gotta be going for maybe like a fighting move or something along those lines. But Drought popping out here. Now we Dynamaxing. Now we Dynamaxing. Do I want the speed boost or do I want that? No, he's gonna go for the follow me. So I'm gonna go for the attack. Actually, I, he's defiant. He is defiant. Do not stack him up, Jeans. You're better than that, kid. Let's go for the flying move. At least send it over here. If he goes for follow me, that's totally fine. And I'm just. Do I bulk up? Do I bulk up? I think I should bulk up here. And maybe protect next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna bulk up here. No, you know what? I'm gonna protect this turn. And I'm gonna bulk up next turn, maybe. Because he's Dynamax still. We're gonna get after this. So smart play for me to actually not go straight into that uh that worm win and get the attack drop. I remembered he was defiant. Like last second, it just popped him back in my head. I'm like, wait a minute, he's defiant. Because if I would have went in that defiant boost him, he would have been stacked up just as well. Because right now he just has plus two speed. No attack boost. Oh, this Altaria doesn't have Dynamax candies. No! No! It's fine, it's fine. We still gonna clutch up. We still gonna clutch up. We still gonna clutch up. It's all good. Follow me coming out here. That's totally fine. We still clutching up here. Go ahead for my Groudon, please. Oh man, Altaria doesn't have this. Knuckle coming out here. Go ahead for Groudon slot, please. Yep, goes ahead for my Groudon slot. Protect is happening. Protect is happening here. It's totally fine. We don't need Dynamax Fanny. This is how strong this team is. This is how strong this team is. Let's go, Airstream popping. Can we take out this Ndidi? It is Psychic Seeds boosted. But yo, Dragon Ants plus two is happening. Um, we should be able to outspeed this, uh, this, what's it called now? This Zapdos. We're plus three and we're plus two on our Terrier board. Oh my god, we are thriving. Big old Protect coming out for me that turn. Um, I feel like we bulk up now and we just Airstream over onto that other slot. Well, it really depends who he throws out. If he throws out another Physical Attacker, then I'm definitely going to bulk up. If not, then I'm just going to go into like a, uh, percent. Oh, he goes top of Finny. Ooh, that's a little scary. You're not going to do my dragon moves. I ain't playing around with my dragon moves. Um, I think we gotta get after his top of Finny. <laughs> like, I'm not dealing with that thing. It's not levitated, so I could just go into my ground stab. Take out the bird. Or do I take I think I take out Tapu here. I think I definitely take out Tapu. As much as I want to go after you, I think I gotta take out Tapu. Maybe just bulk up. Yeah, I'm gonna take out Tapu and bulk up. I think that's the play. Altaria should be fastest on the field. With plus three. Like I said, yo, this team's too strong. We don't even need Dynamax candies. Take out this Tapu. Get it out of my face. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with Tapu Finny here. Hey, you let me Dragon Dance plus two. Like, that's game over. If somebody Dragon Dances twice on you, and you don't get a hit off on that thing, it's game over. It is GG. It is done. And now we're bulking up here as well. He's going to go for a Brave Bird. That's totally fine. Altaria, ooh, ooh, almost doesn't eat it up. Almost doesn't. That could have been real rough for us. But we're bulking up. My boy coming out here. <laughs> uh, I think I just take out Zapdos here. Call it a game. Call it a night. 
Oh yeah, the Dragon Dance plus two game over. We don't even need Dynamax candies. That's how strong it is. Lander's gonna come out here, but now we're only plus one. I still feel we take out as we take out the what's it called? We're plus one Altaria. We're even now on Groudon, but we still have a defense boost, and these guys are both physical attacking, so that's pretty that's pretty big. And now I can just go for the uh the airstream, take out you, and then uh go to the fire punch over onto the landers. Over onto the landers. But I know this uh this airstream will 100 percent take out this this thing right here. Life Orb. Life Orb might actually take us out here, which I'm totally fine with if we can just bring out a chlorophyll, leaf gun, and finish off this match. And finish off this game. This Altaria is what what is Altaria? Altaria is plus five on speedboard right now. <laughs> <laughs> just running things and it does survive the life orb damage which is awesome this thing's gonna come through with the fire punch this will not KO but still gonna do a decent amount of damage maybe get the burn see that's why I don't like 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 ground on should 100% be a what's it called typing be part fire typing like how isn't that a stab move he lives in lava I just don't understand it <laughs> he sets droughts and all that stuff he is crazy and he's not fire typing it just makes no sense Makes no sense. Like Kyogre, I, Kyogre's water typing, which is perfect for him. And maybe you should give him like an ice typing as well. He lives deep in the sea where it's re really, really cold. Like give him that extra typing. So our blade's gonna come out here and we're gonna pretty much call this one GG. I guess we'll fire punch in, in this slide as well. This guy might just cancel the battle, hopefully. No, he does not. So our blade's coming out here. Be absorbing the light and the heat. Lower Phil rocking out here. Does this turn to, yeah, it turns to one turn. It's just like solar beam, but it's blade, it's physical. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Get that thing out my face. <laughs> Get it out my face. Awesome battle here. We pick up that winning record after getting smacked up in that second battle. But it is, it is okay. We went 2-1 and one and won this battle. This might have been my favorite team I've shown off since the Crown Tundra has released. Just something about the Groudon and Kyogre combo is amazing. And I always loved Altaria as a Pokemon all around. Just that dragon and flying type it. And it just looks amazing with the cloud and the bird just chilling on it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.